folks back uh, part two I believe it's 125 I've been talking about Simon Singh obviously I know nothing about Simon Singh what do I know about him well, I've uh, read a lot about him I've looked at a lot of videos on YouTube if you do a search I mean he's gonna pop up everywhere uh, there's another fellow there's a fellow whose name is Jack of Kent who is a uh, British lawyer who's written a lot about you know the legal part of this and if you have an interest it's uh, just like it sounds or says Jack of Kent J-A-C-K-O-V-K-E-N-T dot blogspot dot com and there's tons of stuff about uh, Simon Singh on there there's also tons of stuff all over the place uh, about him now uh, this is the show and tell part <laughs> uh, you see this book whoa, whoa let me see here uh, what in the world? I am do oh gosh, I got the thing reverse. Anyway, this is one of his books. I'm not even going to try and pronounce this. This dude is a Frenchman, and yes, I had a few hours of French in college. Uh, Ferme, Vermont, whatever. Anyway, it's it's a book about this uh, this puzzle, for lack of a better term that's been around for 300 years and how it was solved and it took 300 years I know nothing about math <laughs> I truly don't but this is a really interesting book and you do not have to know anything about math now I've only uh, I'm up to page 50 which I read at one time it is truly fascinating anyway this is one of uh, Dr. Singh's books okay now I have another one here I have not started this one. Uh, this is about codes. You know how the military and all that kind of stuff sends codes and everything else. Well, anyway, this is uh, uh, if it's written if it's written like the other one, it's going to be delightful. I mean, the guy just has a, a really nice way about him. He truly does. Now, uh, this is the one that a lot of you folks may be interested in, and this is trick or treatment. And he wrote this along with Ernst. I don't know a whole lot about Ernst, but he evidently used to actually teach the alternative medicine stuff. But anyway, uh, this book's kind of neat. It has uh, uh, it has a, uh, a it, it it has quite a few pages, for lack of a better word, about acupuncture, homeopathy, uh, chiropractic, and uh, herbal medicine. Mm, excuse me, and herbal medicine. Then in the back of the book, it has like one pagers on everything else, you know, like crystal therapy, cupping, colonic irrigation, and you know, all that other bogus stuff. But this is really a, a neat kind of book. If you have any relatives who are out there pissing away their money on this stuff, well, I'm sure they wouldn't read it, but anyway, this is a neat book. But he, he seems like a, a, a delightful fellow. Uh, his interviews, uh, you know, I've just thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, anyway, I, I guess that's what I wanted to say in this 125 is, uh, you know, poor old Simon's out there and uh, the uh, BCA, British Chiropractic Association, is really coming after him. I think what, ev what everyone had hoped was that the Chiropractic Association would be forced to come to court and prove that what he said was wrong and of course they they can't do that now there's another interesting thing and, and here again I, I can't be but so specific but seemingly someone in England got all ticked off at these chiropractors uh, you know after uh, Simon Singh was being sued excuse me and I think they have something called a fair trade standards or something in England what this guy did was send them an email, as I best remember, and said, hey, all these people are, 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 are promoting this bogus stuff. Uh, if you go in their offices, the chiropractors, of course, they uh, claim they cure this, they heal that, they treat this, and of course it's all bogus. They wrote back to him and they said, you can't do that. So what he did is he wrote back to them and seemingly took every single uh, chiropractor in this one huge group in this one huge organization 
and filed a complaint individually about all of them. And then this particular organization, as I remember, what they did is they went back to their members and they said, you better get rid of all the literature we have. Because, of course, they have literature saying they treat everything and they're able to treat everything. And if, if you all have, have watched uh, many of my videos, and I'm not saying you have, one of the big things that I'm really tucked off about are the damn chiropractors. You know, basically, they are absolutely worthless. That's all there is to it. They promote bogus treatments. The basis for uh, so-called chiropractic, <clears throat> excuse me, for those of you who don't know, was started in 1895 by a guy, D.D. Palmer. Yes, I know, I'm ranting and raving. He started this thing, he dreamed this thing up, excuse me, in 1895, he dreamed it up. He had no uh, medical knowledge or medical training or anything else. He came up with this thing that there's such a thing called a vertical uh, subluxation, which there isn't. No one has ever proven this thing even exists. And he talked about vitalism, you know, this energy running all through us and all this other kind of bogus stuff. And this is 1895, and the basis for chiropractic, if you will, has not changed. And folks, I mean, really, uh, here you have this, uh, this, uh, these people walking around in white coats calling themselves doctors who are using something that was dreamed up by a grocer in 1895, and nothing has changed since then except they've added more bogus modalities. I love that word, modalities. You know, the kinesiology and all the other kind of crap that they have. But anyway, the long and the short of it is this. This is important for, for two reasons. Number one, the British system is, is, I mean, you basically don't have a chance if you're taken to court over there. And this is really squelching free speech uh, in England. And, and also, it actually reaches out to the rest of the world, seemingly. As I said, there was a lady who, uh, as I understand it, published a book who lives in the United States. Twenty-three of them were sold in England, and somebody from Saudi Arabia sued her in England, and she settled for £100,000. Now, I might have some of this stuff wrong, but if you have any interest in it, please do a, 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 a search, and the gentleman's name is Simon... Sing, S-I-N-G-H, there he is. And as I said, if you have any interest in this, you know, so-called alternative crap, uh, this is a heck of a book, it, 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 it really is. And, uh, and there you go. So what more can I say? And as Pat Condell would say, <laughs> peace, ladies and gentlemen, peace. And do me a favor. Stay away from those damn chiropractors. And if you have a family member or a loved one or a co-worker or, or anybody you know who's going to these whack jobs, tell them to do some searches on the Internet. The information is all out there. There's nothing they can do to help you. Believe me. <laughs> you guys take care. Good night and stay away from the chiropractors. Bye.